Well, uh, we're at a base camp for the weekend. We found a lovely spot. We've got a Woody, everybody. Say hey, Woody. Hey, Woody. Mm. We've got a hippie. Say hey, hippie. Hey, hippie. <laughs> and this is going to be our home for the weekend. This is as we've arrived to site. We've not done anything yet. So we're going to get setting up and we're going to, uh, well, start a rocking weekend, I hope. And we'll see you soon once we've set up. Hey guys, we've currently got the fire going. Woody's blowing his wood. Took a big puff to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, uh, we've got a back stuff up. We've got like a, a Martin. Hey Martin. Hello. And here's a Woody. And apparently, here's a me. It's all pretty special right now. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out. It could look absolutely dog shit. And we're just chilling, enjoying conversation for a bit. Hey Woody, you mind if I ever sit down in your set? Of course you can, though. Oh, yes. Why is it clashing? Sorry? The camera. Yeah, it's recording. Alright. Look at the fucking flame on that now. It's giving it some. That's a fire. Yeah, it's what do you reckon? Oh. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Am I in the mood for steak tonight? Um, Woody? Uh, I don't know. Do you fancy steak tonight? Steak. How many chorizos have you got for your for the meat? Do you uh, need any more? No, I don't need any more. If I was to chop up some of this, I'd put a full foot long chorizo. All right. Two courgettes, full onion, half pint of mushrooms. Okay, so that's going to do for four, is it? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm going to take my one nibbles and bits besides, but. Yeah, yeah, well I've got us another chorizo, I've got us a big ass bag of nuts, mm. Woody. Yeah, dry roasted nuts. Well, they I've got nuts. us, here you go, barbecue crispy peanuts. Oh, yes. These are fucking well nice, have you ever had them, Martin? Mm -hmm. They are absolutely amazing. They're so tasty, and they're like a pretty decent source of protein while you're on the move, you know what I mean? Uh, what else have I got us? You ready? Green and blacks, 85% dark. Fit. And green and blacks, ginger dark. Mm -hmm. So we can snack on that as well. So right, that's obviously too fucking hot there. Why is it just burning it? Yeah. And yeah, if I don't have for my dinner, hard. I've got a mug shot. So I don't know if I want steak tomorrow night. Okay. It'll be fine in the packet there, as it is what, you know, like just normal temperature. Absolutely fine. But I might just have chorizo and fingers tonight. You know chorizo and rice, just have something quick and simple. Because the other thing is, not only that, it means I'm not carrying around a big ass steak. Hey, there we go. Well, we've got a morning fire going. We're just having a cigarette. We're going to do a little bit of foraging. a little bit of foraging we've got a little bit of wood going for the morning we'll go grab some more during the day we're going to set up Craig with a uh, ground set up there which we'll show as we go and fail and do it or not you know what I mean we'll see what happens uh, other than that for today we've got no major plans we're just gonna chill out enjoy and see what see what the uh, the camp takes us We've got some food for later. We've got a stew for later, haven't we, Woody? Oh, yeah. Uh, that stew should be... What, well, maybe, is that what, about eight and nine o'clock tonight? Uh, eight and nine o'clock tonight, we'll have a Mediterranean chorizo and vegetable stew. Yes. With some bush-made bannock. Yes. Bush yeah, I've uh, brought bannock mix, so we can do some bannock. We're going to cook some of that up. I'll probably take about two hours or something on the fire, just slow going, keep it nice and cold, just do it thoroughly so it don't burn. Um, 
and then we're just gonna uh, we've got Craig coming around half three four o'clock so I'm gonna go for a wander Another wood would do absolutely fine. And just wrap it in leaves. This is going to be so shoddy. You don't just wrap it in some of these wet leaves or something. Well, the ground, the stuff off the ground here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to move. Yeah, yeah. We need to move parasol then, don't we? Desperado bottle. Eh? It's a um, tequila beer. I know, yeah. Right, so what one missing? I've got some paracord there. I've got a guideline here. This one is left over from the lakes. Yeah, but why would you tie it this tight? All we need to do is create a loop so we can tie that to the ground and stab and stake it, don't we? Yeah? 
yeah. all we need yeah. is yeah, yeah, trade yeah. the bottom like that. We can tie some around it and then stake that to the ground tight. Yes. So we don't need much, do we? So we'll put them centre there. That's what's ready. Oh. Just put the button through first and I'll grab it. Yeah. Right, hold it over. And we've got our button, yeah? yeah. Now do you cut your nut on there. Yeah, pull that down. Overhand that to the tight, I think. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, then overhand it, peg it. This gets fun. Take this corner and fold it directly underneath. Yeah? So it creates that kind of roof point, yeah? Right. You got that? Yep, is that good? Right. You know that green paracord there? Uh, uh, sorry, the orange one. I did mean the orange one. Keep that loop at that end. Right. If you do your overhand, you know your, your loop, pop your loop on there. Right, now here's where the peg comes in. Your hand. You ready? Cool. There we go. Yeah? Is that good? Alright, now what we want to do is we want 
power card off of these. There's some in my bag. You sure? Okay, okay so tie one in to here and one into there. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to do an overhand on that so it pulls like that. that out more so it's got you know so it holds as tight here as it does there because that's solid that here yeah got in there. How fucking cool is this map? We'll go on top of that shelf or something. Yeah, yeah. How, much, how cool is that? You'd be alright with that. Yeah, totally. If not, I would be. Look at this. Let, I'm going to actually get inside it. This is like nothing apparently. No, it's hard. Okay. I don't know. It was Four. supposed to be. Oh, you meet her. But it's not. I'm just wondering whether I'd be able to do something like this with my smaller one. Yeah. So I could just keep the smaller one in my shit hits the fan bag. Yeah, it's not comfortable. It's to get the fuck out of Dodge. Exactly. I can spend the night for discomfort in the woods to get yeah, the fuck yeah. out of Dodge. Not yeah. a problem. Not a fucking well, look issue. at it though. It's great that, isn't it? Try and get inside it. Imagine if you put your you know your lie mattress down first though. No, I, I'm not being funny, but me and you are a smidge smaller. Yeah. Craig, as well. Oh you just take your boots off, you're sliding feet first. Oh my god, yeah. There's a lot of room in it, isn't there? Yeah, you could, yeah. It'd be... Right. Not Hello? perfectly comfortable, but... Serviceable. Serviceable sleeping area. Should I message Craig and tell him to bring the one-man bivvy out of the thing, get out of my loft? Just to be careful. For fuck's sake! Woody's trying to attack you this weekend. Yeah, that's the only downside. No, fucking right where your fucking head was. Yeah. Fuck. 
Oh. Yeah, man. But yeah, does that work? <sighs> you shouting me, Martin, so he does uh, what? I was just going to say, I mean, I've just been throwing little bippy sticks on the fire. That couldn't be... Didn't deserve the pile. All right, but yeah. I think you might need to do something with the fire. Cause no, it, we don't need it for anything now. Huh. It'll keep a, a glow for quite a while when you just keep topping it up. We don't need anything from it right now, do we? No, no. Just want to keep it going a little bit. So all them little bits are perfect for it. Porridge. That was quick and easy then, wasn't it? That was very quick and easy. Right, I can't fucking do that. <laughs> so We've here. got saws, Martin. Smart that, isn't it? Yeah. And you've just got basically like a nice little in area that you, you know, if you put your what's it called, your, you know, your like lime mattress, like we've got these. Yeah. If you put that into it first, put yeah. your sleeping bag on it, you can open and close that door as you wish, close one side of it in completely. All right, yeah. And all you do is you pull that tent peg out and you move it in yeah. and follow this ridge line. So you close it completely off, so you put yourself in that side, you know, with your sleeping bag and stuff, and all you have to do is crawl down there, put your boots on the shelf and everything, they're out of your way. That's cool. Smart, isn't it? But again, it's something that if you can do it, that's the small scale version of it. Yeah, yeah. If you do it with this, imagine yeah, how yeah. big it is. It's massive with one of these. You know, we're having this. Yeah. We could, you could just carry this. You wouldn't need the ridge line because all you do is the same principle there. But you fold, basically, you peg that one down into the floor. You fold that corner in, and you peg them two corners down. Yeah, it's much better because it's got more. It's got more fixed points. Yeah. And they're all reinforced as well. They're not like an eyelet on that or an eyelet on that. Look at the actual rubber material on the inside of the edgings. You know what I mean? So which one's this? This is the DD 3x3 in Coyote Brown. But you can get it in green, you can get it in black. It's just a regular, not extra light, super light. No, no. Let's say 40 quid. One of these. And it's amazing, isn't it, really? You can do that on a big setup. You can take your tarp to every rally. Yeah. You don't need to carry a big old tent and strap your big old tent down. Because your tarp will go in your backpack. You know if you're just doing like me and like what me, Timber and Fingy did? Take your tarp instead. We don't need to take a tent. Just take a tarp. It weighs nothing. You just don't take your hammock. You do a ground dwelling. You consider a rally like a ground dwelling for your hammock and tarp. Well, I fixed it, sorry, it had a bit of a cock up with my, uh, cock up with the camera just meant that I couldn't record then. But here we are, Craig's turned up, and me and Woody are about to set down for some tea. Tonight we've got, uh, we're going to have some thinly sliced steak that we're going to cook on an open fire. Woody is currently creating a stew with what's in it. Uh, chorizo, mushroom, red onion, herbs, salt and pepper, olive oil. That's it. And we're adding cider. Cider and a bit of water, yeah? Cider and a bit of water and just let it stew away. Just Excellent. And I'm going to cook us some bannock as well. And we're going to chuck that on in the fire, cook that very slowly. We're going to have some bannock with our stew later, for later on. Come in. We'll catch you in a bit. Well, before the light starts to die out, we're going to get the fire going a bit more. But just for the time being, food's pretty much all done. We're just about to sit down and eat. We've got... Oh, I'll show you what we've done. We've got bannock that, yeah, cooked for the most part. Did all right with what we had. Um, we've got the steak going on in a few minutes. And what did you want to show us? The masterpiece. There we are. We've got a good stew there. The one that we started off with before, added some rice into it. And again, it's uh, 
What was it? The uh, did we show the can of strong bed uh, going in. I don't know. And we just show the dry. No, Either way, dry. it's all good. So we're ready for this. Very soon, so we're going to sit down and then enjoy the rest of the night.